So now people, coming up in today's video. Right now, Andrew Wallace is the hottest thing. It looked like he might take away the week from Carter. Everybody had talked about him financial affairs. And it looked like the statement wasn't enough. The boss of publicity stunt, bomb chat, whole distraction. However, I spoke with a senior officer um, and he told me that it was as a result of a bomb threat. Can you have a habit to make people body disappear? So you disappear body man. Hey boy, vice car tell you you're dead. Me tell you you're dead for everybody where you kill her. Everybody were dead. You say, I'm missing you. They're living at 14. Effort court. What, 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 what are them friends missing? Hakeem Campbell around dance and music right now. Yeah, man, man, them boys come, come and tell me about cartel. Cartel around the dance and. Yes, so welcome back. Big up to all of my viewers and subscribers. Who are going, my people? Yeah, I'm from on the city thumbnail and the title. They don't already know what is on the agenda today. So consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, give this video a like. Yeah, man, just like up the video now yeah and also share up the content so that others can be in the know but to know how we do it thing over here you see me we just are gonna jump in at the inch of fast and come right back to the video so no don't go away we we'll soon forward I could I never forget where me come from no matter what me do me a bunch of bacon Yes, so basically now people, Andrew Wellness is facing some backlash right now people Because basically we all know what is popping in the internet with Andrew Wellness You see me I say, basically the Prime Minister is being accused of illicit enrichment You see me I say, and since recently this week Andrew Wellness came out with a statement And you don't know the Prime Minister dismissed all of that accusation So now basically, yeah, on Thursday night yeah, the Prime Minister Andrew Owens received a bomb check. You see me, I say, so basically enough Jamaicans is very skeptical about that. And I say basically a lie Andrew Owens I tell enough people I say, yo, this is just yeah, you don't know a distraction for distract the people them from the case we are going with him now, etc. You see me, I say. So people I have the video and I'm gonna make you check it out. So I want to check it out and jump on the honest thoughts down into the comment section. What do you think about this situation? I saw no less than uh, six police vehicles uh some of them from specialized operation one from peace tab and um you know persons in the area have been saying to me that it's it's unusual that uh to see so many police officers um driving around and stationed at the prime minister's residence um I, I inquired but you know the police officers are very tight-lipped however i spoke with a senior officer um and he told me that it was as a result of a bomb threat that i can't confirm but the police officers are still here to let you know as well kirk with just this minute got a statement coming in from the police that said the deployment was initiated in response to credible intelligence gathered by the police indicating a legitimate security threat to the prime minister and his household they said swift and effective action successfully repelled the threat and that they continue to maintain a presence at the location. So people, what do you think about all of this? I want to jump on the honest thoughts down into the comment section. As I may say, do you think say, oh, this is just a ploy the Prime Minister used to distract the Jamaican people? Them? Because basically enough people on the internet is kind of being skeptical about this, as I said before. As I may say, enough people are saying, oh, basically, Andrew Owen is just a try to deceive the people them and him for resign immediately. We all know, say, oh, the PMP come out and, you know, ask for his resignation and, you know, don't know say the JLP party back him to see him way and I say oh him not resign and you don't know people all of these things as I mean I say but basically from all of this social media has been having a buzz as I mean I say and right now we have an individual that is basically asking the people them if them things say oh Andrew Owens is a chopper basically as I mean I say and him even say right now to how Andrew Owens take over the internet is like him take it from Vibes Cartel for the week and thing as I mean I say but instead of me, I go tell you everything. Me, I go just make you check out the video and you can jump on the honest thoughts down into the comment section on this situation. Right now, Andrew Wallace is the hottest thing. It looked like he might go take away the week from Carter. Everybody had talked about him financial affairs. Over 400 million Jamaican dollars are circulate between three companies linked to the Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Wallace himself. Then, if I really saw politicians make money, Obviously, me in a wrong career, or maybe the Prime Minister Chopper. People, when I think, when I feel like the Prime Minister Chopper, or he's making all this money legally. 
one thing. Anyways, Mr. The Boss gave a 13-minute statement in a House of Parliament to justify his finances. And it looked like the statement wasn't enough. The boss a publicity stunt, bomb chat, whole distraction under the nastiness. So basically people, I want to really tell me what to think about where this individual is. You see me I say, I want to really tell me if you think say, Yo, Andrew Jones is a chopper, did he obtain all of his money, financial assets uh, legally. You see me I say, because really and truly when you really look into it, you see me I say, this bomb trade thing, it kind of look a little suspicious way, you see me I say, because after all of this um, accusation being made towards Andrew Jones, you see me I say, then instantly, the Prime Minister received a bomb threat and we all know that most Jamaicans are kind of skeptical of sending the Prime Minister threat because multiple people that came online and basically threatened the Prime Minister we all know what happened to them, as I said, we all know that the Prime Minister sent police for them etc etc as I said, but honestly we just want to drop on an honest thoughts down into the comment section as I said, evil I say right now Andrew Owens is like the artist topic right now. You see me I say evil at a Dan Vibes cartel. You see me I say people more also want to share on the thoughts about that. Also, while being on the case of Vibes Cartel, right now we have an individual that is making some serious threat to Vibes Cartel, you see me I say, and some damning accusation, allegation, etc. You see me I say basically you must say your Vibes Cartel take out one of family and basically Vibes Cartel a plan to take out a couple more people and basically this man also a wish the worst for Vibes Cartel, you see me I say, because you must say how the artists are got dead and beating, you see me I say people and really and truly when you really look into this, I have to wonder say, if this man just come and do this just for like some little publicity stunt or you know him really mean it but really and truly I want to take in the video and tell me what you really think about all of this, you see me I say. So like you don't kill off my family now, I use what you trick one side for help you, we are going to kill Sean of them and kill Miss Majam and hang them and dash them body. So you tell me you're gonna kill over 45 people and get away with it, Vibes Cartel and your friend them. You are kill Shana Campbell Munchie with their Birmingham and her grandmother Miss Maj and dash them body too. Cause you have a habit to make people body disappear. So you disappear body man. Hey boy Vice Cartel, you're dead. Me tell you you're dead for everybody where you kill and everybody were dead. You say the missing you, them live in a 14 effort court where, where, where one of them friends missing. You make one of them, you make Anna your niece, make one of them friends missing. Along with other people who are working, they're gonna pay for that vice cartel. I bring you down. And all your family better get them liar and go to the police station right now and talk the truth. Cause I gonna destroy the whole of them. All of them run got Spain with the money. I run got Spain and a fake visa. And, 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 and take visa from England and run got Spain got hide I bring them back come here. I bring them to Jamaica. Come here, destroy you. I am mean, no say you are going to try to kill Sean or try to dash, dash your body and dash, and dash your mismatch body. Because that's your habit. Kill people and dash them body. And hide them body. Me and your vice cartel. You are going to pay your friend, Shensia no and Spice no. Honestly, all I can say, people, these are some very serious accusations that this man is bringing forward towards the king of dancehall, Vibes Cartel. As you may say, I don't know if all of this is true or not. As you may say, but people sharing your thoughts about it down into the comment section. Yeah, and make we discuss it. As you may say. Also, we have another individual also speaking about Vibes Cartel, and this man is saying that basically Vibes Cartel now are on the road right now. As you may say, basically you must say you're a chronicler around the road, as I may say. So people, I want to check out the video and tell me what you think about it. Yeah, no boy can't yeah, tell me nothing. Hakeem Campbell around dance and music right now. Yeah, man, man, them man, boy, I come and tell me about cartel. Cartel around the dance hall. Yeah, man, man, one bumper man, clad man, chronicler, yeah. law boss, sent him as native. Chronicler time now, on a cartel time. Cartel get film time a bumper clad ready. Still our time. Ha, ha. How are you doing, man? So honestly people, more want to tell me the truth, who really are run dancehall right now? Is it Vibes Cartel or is it Chronicler, the law boss? You see me I say? Because basically in my own opinion still, yeah, you don't know. We don't take nothing from Chronicler, you see me I say? Because basically Chronicler are bad, bad artists, the dancehall therapists, you see me I say? But if you could really check the ratio, yeah, it's very undeniable that Cartel of the internet, of the whole Jamaica in a frenzy, you see me I say? Yeah, basically everything where the artists do yeah people are talk about it you see me i said so the artists know how 
to keep himself relevant, not taking away anything from chronicle eyes. I mean, I say, so people want to drop on the thoughts on this situation where this Rasta say, right? I say, right? Yes, I mean, I say, yes, yeah, so now, people, we have come to the end of the video. Yes, I mean, I say, so as what I said before, just drop on honest thoughts on this situation. We want to see in the video, people. Yeah, down into the comment section and make me know what I really think about all of this. Yes, I mean, I say, yeah, man, share on the thoughts, man. Make we discuss it down into the comment section. Also, consider to give this video a like. Yes, I mean, I say, also consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Yeah, and also share up the content so that others can be in the know. But you already know how we do the thing over here, people. Peace, love, unity, bless up every day, every time. I'm out.